For the past 25 years, the U.S. Geological Survey and its numerous partners have been studying land loss and coastal erosion in Louisiana. Data has indicated that over 34 square miles of land have been lost per year in the last 44 to 50 years. Between 1932 and the year 2000, Louisiana has lost 1,900 square miles of land. This land equals an area roughly the size of the state of Delaware. University and government scientists have developed a computer simulation that predicts what may happen if additional steps are not taken to stop land loss. Another 700 square miles of Louisiana land could be lost or vanish into the Gulf of Mexico by the year 2050. That area is equal to the greater metropolitan areas of Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland combined. Thus, the total loss from 1932 to the year 2050 could be as high as 2,600 square miles. You are about to see computer animations depicting coastal land loss in Louisiana. Red shows land loss, yellow shows major populated areas, and the bar traversing the bottom of the screen indicates time from 1932 to the year 2050. The southwest area of the state, or the Chenier Plain, experienced about a fourth of the total loss, mainly coastal marsh converting to large open water bodies. There was also some shoreline erosion along the lakes and the gulf in the region. The southeastern portion of Louisiana, or the Deltaic Plain, has experienced approximately 80% of the historical loss. This area south of New Orleans is also predicted to be most at risk between the years 2000 and 2050. Over 80% of the predicted land loss will occur in this region if nothing is done. This is the Atchafalaya Basin area. This basin is showing significant wetland gain due to sediment deposition from the Atchafalaya River and the Wax Lake outlet. Lower Bayou Lafouche, Port Fouchon area. This is a critical area for oil and gas production and transportation. It is also an important area for hunting and fishing, both recreational and commercial. Highway 1 is vital to these activities. However, today it is only a ribbon of land surrounded by the Gulf of Mexico and the bays. Continued wetland loss will have significant effects on people and properties in the coastal zone. That's where almost half of the Louisiana population lives and depends on wetlands to buffer them from storms and hurricanes. This is also an area of importance for economic and recreational opportunities. However, these opportunities will greatly diminish if the land is lost.
Louisiana is currently experiencing 90% of the total marsh loss in the continental United States. In summary, Louisiana could potentially lose almost a third of its coast. Additional funding for this project was provided by the Coastal Wetland Planning Protection and Restoration Act. 